From Lindenwald High School, this is the Morning Roar with anchors Alyssa Walden and Amanda Reyes. Meteorologist Sean Boyle and the 411 with Josiah Harris. Good morning, LHS. I'm Melissa Walden, and welcome to today's broadcast of the Morning War. And I'm Amanda Reyes. Today is Thursday, January 9th. Attention seniors, measurements for cap and gowns will be held on January 15th during lunch periods. The cost of the cap and gown is $25 and you must be paid in cash. Extra tassels cost an additional $5 each. All graduating seniors must be measured and paid for their cap and gown on January 15th. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Keaton or Mr. McGurl. Attention to Rats Club, our next meeting will be Tuesday, Thursday, January 16th in room A110. Please see Ms. Porter with any questions. Attention all members of the National Math and National English Honor Societies. The introduction ceremony, the induction ceremony will, be, will take place on Thursday, January 16th of 2014, starting at 6.30. We will have a quick rehearsal on Tuesday, January 14th, immediately after school. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Long or Ms. Brownell. Now for the time is called meteorologist. I'm Sean Boyle with today's forecast. Today we'll have a partly cloudy day, high of 38 and a low of 26, and winds coming from the northeast at 4 miles per hour. Now let's take a look at the five-day forecast. Tomorrow we'll have freezing rain with a high of 45 and a low of 32. On Saturday we'll have a rainy day with a high of 59 and a low of 49. On Sunday we'll have a few showers with a high of 51 and a low of 32. On Monday, we'll have a sunny day with a high of 53 and a low of 34. We'll wrap up our five-day forecast with Tuesday. We'll have a partly cloudy day with a high of 49 and a low of 35. Now, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Josiah Harris with the 401. A Senate candidate in Nebraska is running tongue and check TV ads asking for the nation's capital to be moved from Washington, D.C. to the home state. But is that a constitutional reality? In all likelihood, Ben Sass' request has as much of a chance of happening as a Tactical long shot. There are severe legal and political obstacles in the site of the current capital on the banks of Potomac River has the subject of a huge argument among the founding fathers, but the Constitution can always be amended to make such actions happen, at least in theory. In the ad, a truck is shown moving the Capitol building to Nebraska. In reality, the rest of the federal government and the lobbyists would likely follow. This has been your 411. Now back to the news desk. I'm Melissa Walden. And I'm Amanda Ray, as you say, class of Lindenwald. Thank you for watching today's telecast of The Morning Roar. This show is produced by the students of LHS TV. Watch this and other shows at www.lhstv.com.